Selling me, Jeff. There's a lot at stake for the president this week and no shortage of new controversy. Wolf, no shortage indeed. And uh, we've heard President Trump call Senator Elizabeth Warren Pocahontas several times. Of course, uh, as he was running for president, but we have never heard him do so from the Oval Office at a ceremony honoring Navajo World War II veterans. Wolf, I was in the Oval Office today. I can tell you silence fell over the room as many of his aides hoped he would talk about tax reform. <laughs> President Trump is dusting off his salesman hat tonight, trying to salvage the Republican tax plan facing a vote in the Senate. It's a critical week for the Trump presidency, with his only major legislative victory hanging in the balance. How's the tax bill going, sir? I think the tax bill is going very well. Uh, we had a meeting on it today. Uh, it's going to be a tremendous tax cut. And a critical month ahead for Republicans, with a year-end spending bill looming to keep the government open. I think the tax bill is doing very well, and I think the Republicans are going to be very proud of it. But the White House and Republican leaders are still scrambling to make changes to the $1.5 trillion tax package in hopes of winning over at least six Senate Republicans who aren't sold on the bill. Senator Ron Johnson has said he'll vote no. Senator Steve Daines is opposed to the bill as it currently stands. Susan Collins, Bob Corker, and Jeff Flake also are voicing concerns, with Senator John McCain perhaps the biggest wild card of all. If we win, we'll get some Democratic senators joining us. If we don't so win, far, we'll that seems unlikely. But in the Oval Office today, while honoring Navajo Indians who fought in World War II, Mr. Trump made a crack at one of his Democratic foes, Senator Elizabeth Warren, who he has branded Pocahontas. You were here long before any of us were here. Although we have a representative in Congress who they say was here a long time ago. They call her Pocahontas. The culturally insensitive remark may have been lost on those in the Oval Office, but not on Warren. It is deeply unfortunate that the President of the United States cannot even make it through a ceremony honoring these without having to throw out a racial slur. Later at the White House briefing, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders defended the president and said it wasn't a racial slur. She took aim at Warren, who faced controversy during her Senate race over claiming Native American heritage. I think that Senator Warren uh, was very offensive when she lied about something specifically to advance her career. I don't understand why no one's asking about that question and why that isn't constantly covered. All this as the Alabama Senate race still hangs over Washington. The president would not say whether he would campaign in the state. Mr. President, will you go to Alabama? Sanders said the president would not go to Alabama, despite embracing Moore's candidacy last week. The controversy has reopened a debate from when the Access Hollywood tape surfaced before the election, with Mr. Trump bragging about the assault of women. And when you're a star, they let you do it. While briefly apologizing for it at the time. I said it. I was wrong. And I apologize. Trump has been telling people the tape was a fake, the New York Times reported, as he explained why he believes Moore's denials from women accusers in Alabama. Sanders pushed back on that today. Look, I said that he'd already addressed it um, and that we didn't have any updates to that. I said what he didn't like and what he found uh, troubling were the accounts that are being reported now. But what counts are being reported now that weren't reported last year? What counts are you talking about? the ones that are current that he's questioning. Now the back and forth over this Access Hollywood tape was playing out as a different kind of drama was playing out across Washington at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. There were two bosses that showed up for work there uh, today. A uh, holdover from the Obama administration uh, says she should be the acting director of this agency. But the president has appointed his budget director, Mick Mulvaney, to uh, run the agency in the short term. Of course, Republicans have been trying to shut this down for a long time. Now, the White House has said the agency has been unfair to consumers. But, Wolf, they struggled today to come up with much of a list to back that up. All right, Jeff, thanks very much. Jeff Zeleny at the White House. Let's get